Thanks for watching this video brought to you by a paid advertisement for Hitpoint Press's deck of many animated spell cards. How do we feel about the new OGL? It sucks. Yep. For what reason, you might ask? I would say check the internet. Uh, either way, this video was already done last year. It's just been sort of sitting, waiting to be released, and I thought it's a pretty cool video, so fair use, fair use, fair use. Enjoy. Who goes? Oh, it's you. After our last encounter, I have trained for many years. I shan't be misled again, Necromancer. By the light of Elil! I... What? By the light I can't... What are you saying? Oh, there we go. No! This is Otto's Irresistible Dance. The target is forced every turn to use all of their movement to dance. Ah! In other words, until they save, they can't move out of their space. Interestingly, there's no initial save. They can, on their turn, use an action to attempt a wisdom save, but it seems to be the case, unless your DM rules otherwise, that as soon as they get movement, the target burns through it to dance. Meaning that at least for one round, you could even get around legendary resistances. Anyway, for one minute until they do make the save, or you lose concentration, they're forced to use all of their movement to comically dance in place. When I get out of here, you're fucking dead! They could try to move using some other means, but Jake Cross said that even from abilities that give you extra movement, like a dragon's wing attack, quote, they gotta dance, unquote. That means the dashing just probably makes them dance more. What's worse is they have disadvantage on their deck saves and attacks, plus attacks against the dancer are at advantage. If the target manages to break free though, remember, they used their turn to do it. Yes! By the power of no! Recast it. Is it worth the slot? I mean, it's a high one, so sometimes, especially if you can double up with something that causes repeating damage in an area, a really devastating combo would be dance and God's black tentacles. Oh, sweet Elil, there are two of them? The dance gives them disadvantage on deck saves, and if they fail deck saves against the tentacles, shit! They take damage and are restrained. If they start their turn restrained by the tentacles, they take 3d6 damage, and if they want to get out, they have to use an action to make a save in order to get free from the tentacles, at which point, guess what? They're dancing again. So the tentacles get another shot. This is hell. No, it's a, a good, good spell. spell. Thanks for watching this video brought to you by a paid advertisement for Hitpoint Press's deck of many animated spell cards. They're making lenticular cards with animated fronts and reference info on the back to bring conditions, illusions, townsfolk, spellcraft, and more to life at the flick of a wrist. Check it out at animatedspells.com or through the link in the description.